Hey there, my pixel warriors and glitch lovers. In this tutorial, I will show you a cool little trick to create glitchy visuals using LUTs. LUT support was added in the 7.22 update. During the 7.22 development, I found out that you can create glitch effects by corrupting the LUT files. So that is what we're doing today. This tutorial is not for the faint hearted as we will be breaking stuff and therefore comes with no guarantees. With that out of the way, Let's get glitching. The easiest way to glitch out a LUT is by doing a find and replace action on the file. For this you need some kind of text editor like Sublime, VS Code or Notepad++. In this example I am making a copy of the Aspen LUT that ships with Resolume Arena and Avenue so I can glitch to my heart's content without breaking the original LUT. Next I will open it in my text editor. As you can see it's just a bunch of numbers. So we can do our find and replace action. In most editors, the shortcut for this is Command F on Mac or Control F on Windows, but this depends on the code editor you're using. Now let's do the find and replace. I will change every nine into a zero and change every one into a seven. This is not an exact science. You should experiment and the results are random. One thing to keep in mind to only use the find and replace action. Do not remove any values or the file might actually break. When we are done, you can save the file. Moving over to Arena, I can now load the LUT effect onto the composition. Next, I will load my quote unquote corrupted LUT by dragging and dropping the file. And see here, we have some really weird and wonderful color banding going on. Since the LUT is an effect, we can play around with the opacity as well as the blend modes to get more control over the look. And to round off the glitch look, add some effects like low res, shift RGB, displace, shift glitch or distortion. And that's really all there is to it. Go wild, get glitchy, go break shit and have fun while doing it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.